Hello everyone, Eric from Carfly channel. We're here with yet another video. Uh, this one is gonna be on the auto awful program. So this one is the latest version, version 0.7.2. Previous uh, video of mine would have been uh, with the one of the issues, which is the sum free on the auto awful and uh, disappearing at terminal buildings and uh, jetways. So uh, we're gonna look into why all of this is happening and uh, being able to run this entire program properly. So I have highlighted four parts for this video. Understanding the issues, installing the software, the program, and fixing the files to run properly. But as you already see, I already have the program running. So this video is not gonna be about installing the software, but I said trying to run the program properly by getting all of these files fixed and uh, this video is really from a, a post that I saw uh, one of the guys uh, said that in a video so for the first time install what is the sequence to correctly get the files in the proper place I would have seen uh, most of the videos would have showed you how to install the software but the issues uh, around this program uh, really needs to get fixed or the issues people really uh, or individuals really don't really know how to combat it for those who have had a hard time with it but i have found a way because i've gone through it and uh, found ways of getting it sorted out it might not be the only way but this is uh, some of the ways that i've found and uh, like i said in this version in this video i would have uh, highlighted one of the issues that would have occurred that uh, ended up not making this uh, program run or run properly at all so we're gonna go to the first part of uh, this uh, video which is understanding the issues which is the docker and the win fsp and uh, we know the sum is the second issue so for the win fsp going into uh, my uh, program um, install programs I as you can see I don't have a docker but I have the win FSP installed which uh, I found was the way that ended up making me run this program properly for my system so uh, going back to now the installation section so all the links of this video would be at the bottom of this uh, video when I put it out so that uh, or if you guys want uh, you can just uh, google go to google and then uh, just uh, look for the auto offer and uh, you should get the github page right here which are gonna sh show you the entire steps to installing the software and i think this is uh, what we're gonna do right now but even before that i would like for you guys to have a look at this video to understanding some of the issues in terms of the SAM free and auto offer and uh, trying to figure out how to get it according to how the video is so that you can be able to uh, get your system running with already known uh, SAM free issue so uh, with the uh, install as you see there's the Linux the Windows setup so uh, for 64 um, explain 11.5 on up so you're gonna install whichever one but uh, I strongly suggest the win FSP since I had that since I have that running and got it to work then you're gonna go to the latest uh, software version which is you're gonna click right here and then uh, it's gonna take you to this uh, page in the github and just gonna download it you can look at the changes uh, if you want but uh, one of the biggest change with this program from the previous version um, uh, as you see the previous version was either 6.0.6 .6 or 5.1 the files were turning out to be like this from uh, this uh, video you can see how the files were previously but uh, with the latest uh, 
with the latest version now you're getting the files looking like this with the new version of 0.7.2 you see this new code in here so what they're trying to do here is that they're trying to be able to run this program automatically where what i mean by automatically is like being able to to run the cache files and instead of having to stream it so it will just take all the cache data and see based on the cache that you have you can put it to as many as as big as you want and um, it's going to cache all those files and then being able to run it automatically without running the program so that's so one of the good things about the latest version the 0 0.7.2 and uh if you want to have a read up on this you just like i said the link is going to be at the description so you can have a look into it for the installation uh, section so the program now so as you see here this is the program you're gonna see here it has the install directory it has the explain directory the cache directory which is where you're gonna put like i said the cache all those cache images and those uh image those temporary download would be the, the download cache files which will be in a folder uh, in a zip and then would be converted into a cache um into cache photos so down here you can either override the map and change it to whichever one which i would advise you to have a look either on the internet to find out which map is better suited but i've left it on on override where it's just going to override to what it thinks is the best one available but like i said you can either change it to whichever one that you want but i know bing maps mostly bing maps uh is known so you can go on bing and see what the images would look like so that's that so what happens is when you go into the scenery version now into the scenery section you will see all the scenery uh the ones that you're going to install so when you install all of these different uh ones here so you're gonna get the cache files for these different uh offers and then uh, what happened is that you're just going to either press save to save your configuration and then you're going to press run so that's not the end when you press run so when you press run you're going to see logs you're going to see files starting to um things starting to change here which is going to show you that those cache files are starting to get loaded to be able to run with the sim so for like i said you're going to press run it's going to show updating config since i changed the cache from 12 to now 30 so it's going to take some time to load and running you go in the logs and you'll start to see things happening inside here so based on what you see then you know that the program is running properly so for example you see it's uh, restoring some of those files from the cache to be able to launch for the uh, app in the sim so you're just gonna have it running in the program in the background and now for the last part which is fixing the files to run properly so previously like i said those new files would have been loaded once you once the program is running now that's so when you have this file and you input it manually because those files um is would have either not been able to go straight into the scenery and i packs but the reason why it would have gone there is because you would have either set up where you want those files to be and then you would have either for example in my case i would have sent them directly to this uh section and then in the um going back like i said to the ini file you'd see that 
it's in this drive which is the d drive so i have had a copy of those files into the d drive so as you see here the shortcut for those files is already in the is in the d drives since this is where the original files comes from so whether you have this program which is the x organizer which i would suggest if you do have it you just have to make sure that you got you get the files in the right order so when you first launch the when you first press run and then you load up the x organizer you would see that the there will be a loading screen which i would get one of the videos that i have which, which demonstrated that when you start your so you're just gonna listen to the voiceover x organizer program you would see that the files would uh, launch and you would see it come like that you're just gonna accept it you know tick accept it so that to go in these folders so that to go in these folders so you said that it will go into these folders which down here in the offers you'll see in the offers down here that there is offer europe america so when you press run for the first time like i said it's gonna be inside of here which according to the video this is what you're going to see so you're gonna just accept press accept and then uh, click close which is gonna send it directly into these files here what what it does is that it's going to automatically be able to when you press start that those files are would automatically go at the bottom here because you would have um placed those files um as you say in the program at the bottom automatically but in the event that you don't have the program you can go manually and ensuring that those files are at the bottom there is another file here which is the overlays and also there is this section here which is where all of those files are for you to run the program properly you would need this file if you're running it manually to be at the bottom and uh, that the overlays is on top of those files and what you do is you're going to press save and then you're going to run the game okay so yes i would have said previously you press start you press start to just in the event that it doesn't load properly because either some of those files either the files now they tend to the files now they tend to have some issues with with the administrative uh, privileges so uh, you're gonna go to uh, for example like i said the file the scenery pack go to uh, properties and uh, trying to press uh, you're gonna press read only after you would have organized all the files in the right order then you would either press i say read only apply okay and then you're gonna start the program and then it should be able to run properly now i've realized that when you run this program and you press start what happens is that files tend to go anywhere sometimes that things start to change so in my video i would have highlighted that according to the community post which is here that you can either put this manually put this sum free manually so that those uh, some files doesn't get affected so you would take for example those files that you have in terms of the sum you would press copy and you place it at the top so that those files doesn't get mixed around and then uh, causing problems with the uh, auto offer files 
now like i said in terms of the program for the auto awful as long as those files are above the mesh then automatically it should load here in the correct order but i've seen cases where is either you have to take it out of of here and put, place it all for example in the mesh and all those files you're just gonna keep taking them one by one for example if they're in error for example and you're just gonna put load them all together in a one file here like that like this for example and like I said you wanted this file which is the folder that has all of those files where you don't it is either you don't have to get the streaming but then just run it automatically what you're gonna do is you're going to like it is either you take it out and then you place it back in the folder and it should come at the bottom here and what I did was lock press lock current order so then in this way now it always stays this way when it starts and you go into the scenery file then it should always stay in this order whichever order that you have it automatically set here All right so the folder should be able to, if um the game should be able to run um explain should be able to run with both the sum and the auto offer as how currently there is the issue with some running with um, the auto offer okay so if that uh, didn't make any sense or you understood exactly uh, just go on to my channel and uh, you can hit me on the discord either in my uh, bio above or you can uh, get it, get it at, um, in the description of this video below and then uh, you go straight the, the link straight to the discord channel where you can discuss um, anything that you want to discuss further whether on this software or anything else so as i said it's, it's a bit tedious that we have to do it this way but uh that's the way that i've found to be able to get it to run so do let me know what you think and uh we would uh talk about it